It is day 13 of shooting even par with only my driver through five holes. We are on to the par five. Yesterday was an intense day. Today, my goal is to double down on my good efforts and just go crazy on them. We're gonna end the challenge right here, right now. No slip ups. Four individual guys in golf carts in my fairway that don't belong here. Okay, these guys are giving me a break here. They're gonna let me go ahead and swing it. That is actually one of my best drives of the entire series. That was mashed. 210 left. This is just our money zone as far as the amount of birdies, eagles, everything we've scored. Um, it's time we got back on that horse. The pars are good, but it would be so, so much better if we can start out with a score. Yeah, that's really good. It is hunting that thing. Sit. Back of the freaking green, that was pure. What a good start. Okay, I hit that one a tiny bit too good. We are on the back of the green. Unfortunately, we, we are above the hole, so there's a good chance we'll be down here at the end. But I like this look down here for Birdie. And she's off. Sit. Oh, that touch was nice, but once it hits that hill, it's cooked. Okay, we got the up the hill putt for Birdie. I think I could have stopped it up here, but what I get afraid of up here is then if I miss that birdie putt, I end up down south. And I would say it's just about as difficult, if not, not more difficult. This putt seems easier to me. Oh, you're so scared, Sam. Why are you so scared? We've gotten good at this hole. There was a time when we were doing this on TikTok where it was taking me, you know, seven or eight tries in between every par. And obviously changing a club each time is difficult, but we've made par, I feel like almost more than we've made bogey on this hole. Here it is guys, the beast, hole number two. To end the first leg even par, we've got to record our first ever par after 12 days. Every single time we pretty much have bogey, but I'm just sick of making dang bogeys on this hole. There's no reason for it. Dude, I've never hit my driver better in my life, guys. This series, has been so good for me hitting driver. I want to get onto a course where the fairways aren't 100 yards wide and see if I, that still rings true, but I'm feeling great with this driver in my hand. Absolutely in position A here. We have 108 yards left. The pin is pretty much center left. Gives me room behind and in front of it. I love that. Let's just get one up in there. That's so good. Go. Go. No matter what I do, I will just never get this one on the green. That was, I think, freaking perfect. Grabbed a little bit too much grass. We might technically be on the green. This one is uh, an easy par, absolutely. Let's just take care of business. Keep climbing. That's pretty nice. Just a little bit out right, we'll take it. I don't see any obvious break. And the tearing of the edge of the cup is all where my ball is aligned. So I think I have a straight up the hill putt. When you don't have a better read than that, it's good to just trust your gut there and play it center, center. God, I hate this hole. I hate this hole. I hate this hole. I hate this hole. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate, it. I hate this hole, did I say that already? Despite playing that boring, conservative, keep it in front of us golf that I've really been trying to execute on, we somehow are, of course, still one over. We have 135 and the wind is now blowing into us. Flipped a little 180 on our dome piece. Slicer. Okay, dude, we're in the exact same spot we were yesterday, actually, but with a much harder pin. We might even have to roll one over the bunker, but Oh, that's great distance. If I could just straighten it out, man. Well, this is probably the closest to a mini golf shot I've ever had really on the golf course. I'm actually gonna move this rake just in case. That could be good. Fall left. Are you kidding me? If that goes in, it's the best shot I've ever hit. Wow. This chunk squeeze, I might break it out of my real golf game. That is an elite golf shot from here. Yeah, confident. Key. We're only one over, guys. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. We are one over through three. This is definitely one of our best starts we've ever had, and we are on to the money zone. I like taking advantage of this third leg. The par five going left and the par four, two of my best 
holes out of this five overall for sure. So we've got to keep that mentality up. We've got to get aggressive and we've got to find a birdie somewhere in the next two holes. Oh my God, that's the farthest left I've ever taken it. I didn't hear anything, but that doesn't mean it's good. I mean, I went left of the dead tree. We're gonna have to see if it's in play. Well guys, unfortunately this is my line over here and I just don't see anything. I have to assume that I must have just landed in the houses or something like that, or I hit a tree. Since my best guess is that it probably ended up in a house, I'm gonna take a two shot out of bounds penalty. Usually if I just lose my ball and I think it was good, I'll just take the one shot. But uh, given the circumstances, how close we are to being even, and the probability that it probably just didn't cover this fence in somebody's backyard, uh, we're gonna take a two shot penalty here. So we've hit one, two, three. We need to get this up and down from about 140 yards away for par. That's really good. Give me a break. Sit. We on the green, baby. If we can sink this miracle putt, I am making a birdie on the last hole and we are getting out of here. This one's breaking like this. Oh, it's just been one of those days. We're playing good golf, but the margin for actually making it to even par is so tight. You, you lip the putt on two, you just miss this putt. You hit your tee shot out of bounds. All right, well, we are two over par. We have a strong wind straight into us. I am feeling good with the driver. I'm gonna try a shot I do not usually hit, which is to shut it down and hit a little rolling hook down the center of the fairway. I'm just confident with the driver in hand right now. Um, and I think I can pull this one off and it might help me into this wind. Yeah. I know my last one went out of bounds, but I gotta say this is probably the best I've ever felt in my life with the driver in hand. Truly, this challenge is sick. Unfortunately, I didn't turn the ball over far enough left for it to get out of the way of the bunker. So we've got like 78 yards over this thing, but I kind of feel like my chunk squeeze might be the shot. And I know that sounds kind of crazy. It is crazy, what am I doing? I'm just gonna hit a 78 yard roller in there. Hopefully I get some ramp up off the bunker and you know, we just gotta kinda get lucky, I guess you could say. There's the ramp. Dude. I mean, I've played some of the, it's feeding to the hole. I mean, I've played some of the best golf I've played all series in this video. The ways that I've slipped up and made mistakes is just, it rips your heart out, man, because I am, I've played every hole so good. But let's go make that putt. Huh. Putts weren't going down today. But that was for Brady. Another paw. Well, guys, I think we're officially free of the one good day means a bad day tomorrow curse. Two good days in a row. Today was awesome. I guess I just shouldn't have taken it so far left off the tee on four. But at the end of the day, I knew I needed a birdie. I don't regret my decision. I just didn't hit the best golf shot. Um, so what can you do? We played great. The par three, I have had a couple of good days in a row on that bad boy. I'm feeling pretty confident. We'll see you back here again tomorrow to run it back one more time and let's take care of business. See ya.